for a lot of people, the last time they saw you was when you were on Dr. Phil. And then, yeah. you know, there was the follow-up episode after you got in, you know, seek treatment. Just wondering, looking back on that now, do you have any regrets about putting your story out there like that? So, you know, so open about it, so raw about everything? Well, first of all, I was intervention, <laughs> meaning I did not have a choice. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like, I do feel that uh, the Dr. Phil show exploited me. Yeah. And has done that to other people with their addictions. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I have an inner conflict because I know that my story has helped so many people. And today, that's like, the number one important thing in my life is to help other people. So I wouldn't change that, mm -hmm. but it was not voluntary. How are you now? I mean, you seem like you're, you're, you look great. You seem happy. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> and this journey is very unexpected. Mm -hmm. um, I've been sober for three years and three months now. Congratulations. Not a drink, not a pill, not a joint. <laughs> I mean, not a line, nothing. <laughs> and it's really amazing. I mean, it's a huge miracle to still be breathing after what I was up to. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful. And whatever path and just the turns that I had to take to get here, don't regret any of them. Yeah. And now I know you mentioned that you're still very close with Brittany. Were there other people that kind of reached out through or reached out to you when you were, you know, struggling? Um, actually, Renee. Okay. Renee Alway. I know, I'm sure you're aware of her situation, mm -hmm. but she was the first person when I got out of treatment and I got my phone back, because you're not allowed to talk on your cell phone when you're in uh, rehab. Yep. The day I got out, she was the first person that called me. Oh, wow. And this is before she was incarcerated mm -hmm. and went through all that. And she like alluded to the fact that she, um, really sympathized with my situation and she understood more than I knew. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're both lesbians yep. and we were both closeted <laughs> and we both had drug problems. After the show, we spent some time together yeah. and like got a real relationship. And I've been in contact with her sister as well as her um, since she's been incarcerated. Wow. And <laughs> we just support each other. Thank you very much. I think people are going to be very interested to see what you're up to now, especially since it's so positive. Thank you. I really appreciate it.